first off, so can you go further into the president's decision making, why he felt, he, what specifically he felt he needed to do in Washington that he couldn't do by phone or by Zoom? We've been all been through the last three years where we didn't do a lot of in-person meetings. You know, did he, did he think about inviting Kevin McCarthy to, to Papua New Guinea or to a city so he can carry out these meetings? You know, why did he feel the need that he has to be the one to go back to Washington? Um, okay. So I think I'm just going to reiterate a little bit of what um, Jake Sullivan said, what, which is as we get to the X date, you start looking at the president's time, right? The, and really focusing on the allocation of his time. And we know the X date, right? The Treasury, the Treasury uh, Department has been very clear that it's coming up. And so uh, the president wanted to make sure uh, that, uh, that the conversation uh, that he wanted to have clearly continued. As you know, this, the, the staff is, has been meeting every day. It's been productive. He has, he's optimistic about it. Uh, you heard him speak about it directly uh, today in the Roosevelt Room before he took off. And the president just wants to make sure that uh, that this gets done, right? We are, we are a country that is uh, that pays our debt. We are not a deadbeat uh, nation. And so the president has been very clear about that. And he needs and wants Congress to do their job. And so, again, he's coming back a little bit earlier as we get closer to that X date uh, to make sure uh, that Congress does its job. It's as simple as that. Um, and uh, you all had been asking for weeks and weeks, and not weeks and weeks and weeks, but for some time, uh, that uh, asking about his schedule. And, you know, the president took a look at it, just as Jake said. He took a look at it. He looked at the ex date. He looked at uh, what needed to be done. And the president wanted to come back, uh, come back a, a little bit early, postpone those two other stops that he was going to make uh, to make sure that Congress actually did its job. And let's not forget, there's also the the, the budget negotiation that is currently happening, the spending, the appropriations, that regular order of making sure that uh, we get that done as well. And that is a bipartisan uh, agreement, a reasonable agreement that both Republicans and Democrats in Congress can vote can vote on and it can get to the president's desk. Do you have a sense of what the schedule of talks will be over the next couple days? Can you give us some detail about how that's going to play out? So a couple of things, and I, I, I believe the president may have said this. Um, if not, I, I'll share this with all of you. As you all know, and this is something that you know already, the staff members, uh, the senior staff members will be meeting regularly. They, they met this, I believe they met earlier today. Um, and so they'll have those meetings today. They're going to meet tomorrow. They're going to meet the next couple of days. So that'll be really important as we continue these productive conversations. As it relates to the president, the president is looking forward to uh, connecting with the leaders later this week via phone and then also having a meeting uh, with all of them when he gets back overseas. On the negotiations themselves, one of the biggest hurdles has been spending caps and how long they should last. Republicans want 10 years, Democrats want two. Has there been any progress toward narrowing that gap? Have they agreed on how long those should last? So I'm not going to get into uh, negotiations in public. As you know, the teams have been meeting. We feel that it's been productive. The president met with the four leaders yesterday. Again, productive, headed in the right direction. He's optimistic. As you just heard from the National Security Advisor, the president is confident, which is something he said himself. So we're going to let those conversations continue. Uh, the president has been very clear. We've laid out our, our budget on, on March 9th. You saw it. You've heard us talk about it multiple times. It's a budget that shows uh, spending uh, 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 a cut in deficit uh, over 10 years by $3 trillion, adding, uh, really continuing the work that the president has done for the last two years and getting cutting those wasteful spending as it relates to big pharma, as it relates uh, to oil, uh, big oil as well. And so we've been very clear about how we see uh, the values of this country moving forward, how we see de delivering for American families, and those conversations are just going to continue. And you said the president would be uh, speaking to leaders later this week for an update, but is he going to be updated more frequently on the staff level talks? And what are the, what's the frequency of that going to be, and who's going to be updating him? So I, I would expect that the president will get uh, will get updated regularly, daily, uh, maybe multiple times. This is critical, right? This is important. Uh, in getting this done, uh, he'll be certainly uh, 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 can be updated by senior advisors as he has, or uh, for the past uh, past couple of days when the when these staffers have been high-level staffers have been having conversations uh, with uh, members of Congress staff 